Praise the Lord and welcome again to Walk the Talk series. Today I want to ask you, have you ever felt like you are a mistake? The situations in your life, your failures, the words of people around you, your shortcomings, your character flaws, your drawbacks or rejection from people may have caused you to think that you are a mistake. Even prophet Jeremiah in his own words said this, I curse the day I was born. May no one ever celebrate the day of my birth. A big prophet and a great tool in God's hands as he was, thought he was a mistake. Yes, today we may have many accomplishments. We might be great in public with all that we have achieved, yet on the inside we feel like a failure, a mistake. We wish we were not born at all. We think the world would have been a better place without us. Trust me, the world needs you. Everyone goes through these times of intense grief, especially even more if you are chosen and if you are called. We all have fallen short of glory. Yes, we have all fallen away by the mistakes that we have done. And not that we are mistakes ourselves. The word says, for everything God created is good and nothing is to be rejected. Do you believe that God created you with his own hands? David must have felt the same with all the hate and persecution around him. He must have thought he was a mistake. He must have thought all the victories are for nothing. But yet, he strengthened himself in the Lord, saying this, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Sometimes, even when we don't feel like it, we need to cancel the lies of the enemy that are planted in our heads. You are not a mistake just because somebody called you a mistake. You might have been born even if your parents weren't planning it or even when your parents didn't want it. And ever since you feel a sense of rejection right from your childhood, even if they didn't want you, God wants you. And that's why you're still here. Let not the words and behavior of people override God's great plan for your life. You are extremely, extremely precious to Him. And no wonder against all odds, you're still here. Yes, you're still here. If God didn't have a plan for you, you wouldn't be breathing. Jabez's own mother called him son of pain, son of suffering. But Jabez didn't brood over what happened in the past. He didn't believe the lie. Instead, he sought God. God who can change fortunes. God who can give new beginnings. God who can cancel the lies of the enemy and people. And he alone, he blessed Jabez. Jabez didn't take no for an answer. He said, Lord, you bless me. You enlarge my boundaries. God did not change Jabez's name, but he changed his future. Jabez prayed, Lord, don't let my label be my legacy. Many of us are labeled as a mistake, or rather, we call ourselves one. But Jabez cried unto the Lord God of Israel, the word says, and his future changed forever. You call unto the Lord like Jabez did. Stop living in the same mindset that this is how it's going to be. No, God will change your curse to a blessing. He will change your shame to honor. Change your rejection to acceptance. Change your label of being a mistake to a masterpiece. Yes, you are needed. You are valued. You are God's best handiwork. You are a masterpiece. God bless you.